Hi everyone, this is DeFi Dad. I wanted to call your attention back to LoopRing. So I've been using LoopRing for the past few months because uh, it's a newer type of exchange that you can use on Ethereum. So it is a DEX, which is exciting because with a DEX, of course, you're always in control of your assets. I think what's the real innovation here is the fact that they use zero knowledge proofs to enable higher throughput. And so this exchange uh, runs around like 2000 transactions per second or potentially faster, uh, but there's lots of variables to that. So I have no idea how fast it's running any given day, but that's what the loop ring team has told me. Uh, aside from that, I'm also able to trade at a few fractions of a cent per trade. So I'm paying very, very, very little money to do trades. And the reason that's important to me is that recently I've been frustrated with the gas prices on Ethereum like anyone else. So I've been thinking about, you know, how can I beat that? And this is one of those few tools uh, that is, you know, in the DeFi space that I can continue to use where I'm enjoying the user experience, feeling like I'm almost using a centralized exchange, but I'm still using what is built on Ethereum. And I know that I'm always in control of my assets. So if you go to loopring.org, up in the top right-hand corner, if you click on the trade button, you'll open up the exchange. You wanna bookmark the exchange because if you don't, uh, there's a chance that in the future, someone could register a site that looks like loopring.io and they could you know, potentially be fishing for, for you to reset a key or somehow give them access to some funds. So make sure you bookmark that just to be safe. When you're ready to create an account, you can go up to the top right-hand corner. Now I'm already connected to my MetaMask account. And so what I'm gonna do is click register account here. Now the reason I have to register an account is because you do uh, need an account to be tied to your Ethereum address. So uh, reading off of the, the actual text they have here, this simply ties your Ethereum address to the exchange Merkle tree. You can make deposits once your account registration request is being processed. Withdrawals and trading will be available after your account has been registered. Long story short, this is what allows me to put my funds in and pull them out of the exchange. This is all still being run on Ethereum. I am the one that's in control of my assets, but this is part of the reason that I'm able to trade at a, at a, you know, a faster rate. This is part of the reason that trades feel like they settle almost instantly. Uh, it's very, very important though that you're in control, of course, of your MetaMask account. So please, as always, take good care of that and don't lose access to that. Otherwise, you'll lose access to your funds in LoopRing and there's nothing LoopRing can do to retrieve those for you. If you would like to try out LoopRing, the good news is that they've given me this code DeFiDad. This gives you 0% on maker fees and 0.06% uh, if you uh, create a taker order. I wanna make clear, I am not being paid at all for this. Uh, the team uh, was kind enough to follow up on my request. Uh, they, they had some referral links made up, which I think is awesome for marketing and growth with exchanges. Because of the nature of like my work here in curating products for DeFi, I was worried that it could muddy the waters of whether or not I'm, I'm sharing this uh, because I think that LoopRing is a fantastic product, or uh, am I doing it because I'm financially incentivized to share it? And so I thought it was better for me to just continue what I've been doing, which is to never take money for creating uh, tutorials and product reviews um, in the DeFi space. So anyways, if you go here and you enter in DeFi Dad, you get 0% uh, on maker fees for one year, and you get 0.06% on taker orders for a year. So once you register your account with LoopRing, uh, you're gonna roll through two different transactions. You're gonna have to sign a transaction which, which costs you nothing. And then the second one should be about 
25 cents if gas prices are back down. If they're still really high, I think I noticed today, I think it would have cost about $2 in ether. So uh, just be aware of that. But once you do that, your account has been created and you can start trading on Loopring. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and go here to the left-hand panel where it says deposit. And I'm gonna go ahead and deposit some dye. So we'll put in 100 dye. Now, uh, like with any other DAP, you, you wanna be mindful of these two different transactions. So if I scroll down here, it's asking permission for how much die am I gonna allow loop ring to move? This is something that happens in a lot of dApps. It's just part of enabling like a better user experience. I, I prefer though to put in exactly what I'm gonna, what I'm willing to let them take right now, which is just a hundred die. So again, I would encourage most unless you, um, unless for some reason you know you're gonna deposit in the next few minutes, go ahead and just put in a custom spend limit of a hundred or whatever amount of money you're gonna put in. And then the other thing is let's see, let's see how much uh, in terms of the gas price I'm gonna pay. So currently it's uh, 20 guay. Let's go here and check this out. All right, so yeah, 20 would get it done. I might just bump it up a little bit just to make sure the transaction goes through. All right, we'll put that through. All right, cool. So we'll be right back. Uh, just gonna wait for that transaction to settle and then I can put in my, my first trade here on Loopring. All right, so I'm back for the second transaction. So uh, this is the transaction to actually execute depositing the 100 die into my Loopring account. So I'm gonna just change this to a higher gas price to make sure it goes through and we are all set to go. So while I'm waiting for my die to deposit, uh, you'll notice that up in the like center left, if you click on account, this is where I can see uh, any of my pending deposits. So there we go. Yep. So I have a hundred die. It's still confirming and I can see the transaction hash if I want to check it out. All right. So my die deposit has uh, confirmed. So you can see I have 100 die here. That's because there were 30 block confirmations on the deposit transaction. If I ever do need to check that again, just click on account, click on deposits, uh, and it would say confirming. In this case, it's already completed, so it says succeeded. So if we go back to the trading dashboard, I'm gonna look for what I can possibly trade with my die. So I'm just gonna search for die. I see that it's paired with ether and tether. So I'll choose ether in this case. And then the way that this order dashboard works is you can uh, set limit orders. So here's the price. And I look over here and I can see that the price is 195.53 die per ether. So let's say that I wanna buy at 195.5 die per ether. And then I will just buy as much as possible. In this case, I could have used 50% of my 100 die and I end up here. By the way, this takes into account trading fees as well. So let's do, let's buy as much as possible. And there we go. So we'll do a buy limit order of uh, 0.5115 ether at 195.50 die or lower. So my order's been submitted, and that just means now that it's reflected up above that I wouldn't actually have 
you know, any die remaining. And then if we go up to my orders here, I can see any of my pending orders. Now, if I want to cancel this, all I have to do is click cancel. And now if I go back to the trading dashboard, I've got my original 100 die. So aside from limit orders, it is possible to execute a market order. It's not super obvious here in the dashboard, but if you are gonna place a buy order, if you just set the limit price above whatever is the uh, market price, it will execute it immediately. Uh, that's been my experience at least, and I actually just did it a few minutes ago. So if you go here to orders, you can see here that I filled an order for 0 0.1 ETH at a price of 222 DAI per ETH. I paid 22.2 DAI for that. And then here's the itty bitty tiny fee that I paid in ETH. Uh, and a reminder, the DeFi Dad code uh, that does not pay me any sort of referral or kickback. It, it is only there as a, you know, a benefit to anyone who wants to use it. It gives you 0% uh, on maker orders. Uh, and keep in mind, everyone gets that already. So there's nothing special about that, but just worth calling out. It's 0% fees when you place a maker order. And if you place a taker order, instead of paying 0.1%, you pay 0.06%. Uh, so again, those nice of the loop ring team, they, they took what referral fee I, I would have received. Uh, and I, I just said, just just give it to whoever ends up using the, the code so that they benefit from it. And I don't have any sort of financial incentive tied into it. Uh, so if we were going to place, uh, let's say, a sell order. So if I go here to sell, currently the price of Ether is 219.51 uh, in DAI. <clears throat> let's pretend that I want to sell uh, 0.1 ETH. And I'm going to place, the market price is going to be placed, uh, I'm sorry, my, my limit price to sell will be placed below what is the, the market price. So I'll put it at uh, 218. And so I'm going to get uh, 21.8 ETH, I'm sorry, 21.8 die back. And so if we hit that, all right, so my order has been submitted. And then you can see I immediately have, have that, that credit. Uh, so I went from about 77.8 died up to 99.6. And if we go back to my orders, uh, if we go to fill history, there's my sell order. So you be the judge. I mean, what I just did feels like the type of, uh, it feels like, like the way I place an order on a centralized exchange. It's just instant. Uh, you, you click it, and as long as the liquidity is there, it can execute it. If you consider the two orders that I just placed, uh, let's see, I paid 0 0.00006, okay? So in ETH, that was 0 0.00006 six times 219, let's say, is the die price. So I paid about one cent or one one hundredth of a die. So again, super, super small, fractions of a cent compared to placing trades on, on a DEX. So again, it looks and it feels just like a centralized exchange. I mean, this is how I at least used to use uh, you know, exchanges like Kraken or Binance or, you know, Coinbase, all these exchanges, they have a, a very sort of intuitive experience to, to using this. And so it's nice because it's very familiar and it's easy to use. Okay, so I want to call out some of the drawbacks I've noticed in, in using Loopring. Uh, these are just things to be mindful of. None of these would prevent me from using loop ring, just again, things that are good to be aware of. So first off, uh, there is a minimum order size. So you'll notice if you try to place an order, 
less than 0 0.05 ETH, it just will warn you that there's a minimum order size. Uh, no big deal, but again, good to know that. Uh, another thing is that you noticed earlier that I placed some market uh, buy and sell orders. The interface here is not intuitive to me that you can actually do that, but you could actually argue that they've simplified the way that others call out the difference between a limit order and a stop loss and uh, a market order. So, I mean, wh whatever. At the end of the day, you can place market orders. If you wanna place a market buy order, all you need to do is look at whatever the price is and then place the limit price uh, uh, above that. So you're just willing to pay a little bit more. So in this case, I would pay instead of 219.61, I would pay like 219.80. And then if I wanted to do a sell market order, I would just place my sell just a little bit below whatever the market price is in order to get it to execute, uh, depending also too on how big your, your order size is. Uh, let's see. The other thing is that it does cost something to withdraw your money. So it costs about 0 0.002 ETH for each withdrawal. Uh, good to know that it's not something that scares me because I'm mindful of the fact that when I placed two orders earlier, I actually paid one cent in total for the two of them. So I am truly paying fractions of a cent for um, you know, each order that I place. And so this at $220 ETH is, um, 43 cents. So no big deal. And then there is withdrawals that take about five to 30 minutes. Just again, good to know that because if you go to do a withdrawal, uh, just don't get upset if it doesn't settle within, you know, a few minutes, it can take up to 30 minutes. And then uh, lastly, uh, you know, I can't really dive into how safe the code is. Um, I know that Loopring has audits available, but just always be mindful of the fact that any of these tools uh, or any of these like DeFi apps that are built on Ethereum, uh, there's, there's always a risk to using them. And I think the, the risk I think we all think about is a smart contract bug. So just, you know, be cautious. It's, it's just something that it's, it's risk that I think you can never fully escape. Um, there are some options to consider like Nexus Mutual. You could check out Nexus Mutual to see if you can get any coverage through them. Um, and that would allow you then to be mindful of how much in terms of funds you have on Loopring and then what sort of coverage or insurance you have against a smart contract bug with Nexus Mutual. But other than that, uh, I hope this is really helpful. Uh, again, I, I think Loopring is a really exciting team to watch and uh, it's a really interesting tool here in light of how high uh, the gas price uh, is right now on Ethereum. So uh, uh, comment on Twitter at DeFi underscore dad if you have any questions.